find the interval and radius of convergence, the power series. Okay, we have the sum as n goes from one to infinity. 2x plus one to the nth power over the cube root of n plus one. To find our interval of convergence, we're gonna use the ratio test. So how does our procedure work? We're gonna call our general term, okay, a sub n, so that'll be 2x plus one to the nth power over n plus one to the one third. Then I'm gonna take a n plus one over a n, take the absolute value, and then take the limit as n goes to infinity. We'll call that limit L. Then we're gonna set L less than one, and then we'll solve. So what can come out is gonna be either a point, a finite interval, or the entire real line. If we have a finite interval, we're then gonna check the endpoints just to get the complete answer. Okay, so we proceed. So I take a sub n plus one over a n, take its absolute value. So we're just gonna take a sub n plus one, take our general term where we had an n, we put an n plus one. Then same idea here, we take a sub n, but since we're dividing, we just flip it over. Now if you note, okay, because of the exponents here, I can cancel the n's, and we'll be left with two x plus one in absolute value. And then for the n plus one, n plus two, the one thirds, we can combine those under a single exponent one third. So then we want to take the limit as n goes to infinity. So when we do that, we know first absolute value of 2x plus 1. There are no n terms in there, so we could pull that out. And then on the inside, I'm going to divide numerator and denominator by n. And then we could push the limit to the inside of the 1 third. So what I'll have is, OK, this limit is going to go to 1 over 1, which means it's going to go to 1. So our limit's gonna be absolute value of 2x plus one. Now, our next step, we're gonna take that limit and just set it less than one. So we need to translate this. So how do we translate this? If I wanna take away our absolute value signs, what we do is we take what's in the middle, put it between minus one and one. Then I'm gonna add a minus one to each term to get to here, and then we can divide through by two. And since two is a positive number, we're not gonna disturb the inequalities. So, without checking the endpoints, we're gonna get this interval here. Okay, so we'll mark that off, and then we'll do the endpoints right now. Now, if we put zero into our original function, what's gonna happen? We're just gonna have a one to the nth power, which is gonna to turn to a one, and then we note Okay, this series here is gonna diverge if we compare with a P series. There we'll have P equal to one third, which is less than one, so it's gonna diverge. If we take X equal to minus one, so that's gonna give us a minus one to the N. That's gonna give us an alternating series, and it's gonna satisfy all the conditions of the alternating series test. So we'll have convergent when we're at minus one. So our interval of convergence, it's gonna be minus one to zero, including minus one. And then you'll note the radius is just gonna be half of that length. So we're gonna have radius is equal to one half. Okay, also note the center of our series is gonna be the center of the interval. So that's gonna be equal to minus one half also. So that's just the point, okay, the midpoint of our interval of convergence.